Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to explain the contraceptives and IVF. Now the contraceptives you need to know about are contraceptives that can prevent women becoming pregnant by using hormones. Now the first type you need to know about is the oestrogen contraceptive pill. Now what the oestrogen contraceptive pill does is it provides oestrogen into the woman and it blocks the production of FSH. Now we call that inhibits. So oestrogen inhibits FSH. So that means that FSH isn't produced and the role of FSH is to stimulate the eggs to mature. If the eggs aren't matured, the woman can't become pregnant. Now that's how the oestrogen pill worked. Now there were a few problems with it. It had some effects on the woman's health, which we call side effects. So these side effects were negative from the pill. So what they developed was another pill called the progesterone pill, which is another hormone. You don't need to know how that works. Or the combined pill, which contained both oestrogen and progesterone. The key point there is that they reduced the amount of oestrogen because it caused health side effects. And that's all we need to know about contraceptives. Now we're going to go on to IVF. Now some women are unable to have babies due to problems with perhaps the hormones that they produce. So there is a method that can be used to treat people in order to allow them to potentially have a baby. Now the first step is to provide FSH injections. So the woman would be provided with FSH either by injections or perhaps in a pill form. And this should hopefully cause more eggs to mature. So more eggs are ready. And those eggs would then be removed. So removed. And collected. So collected some eggs. Now the next stage will be to fertilize these eggs. So in order for this to happen, the father has to donate some sperm. So sperm has been donated there. Obviously, there'd be far more than that number of sperm, but that's just an example. So, they would need to be mixed together. So we've mixed together the sperm and the eggs. Obviously, in real life, the sperm are much smaller, but you can understand from this diagram. And this is actually why it's called IVF. IVF stands for in vitro fertilization, which literally means in glass. Now, hopefully, some of these will become fertilized and develop into embryos, which are balls of cells. So they're balls of cells that have the potential of growing into a baby. Now, the next step may seem obvious, but it is to inject these embryos back into the mother. So, final step. Is to inject the embryos back in to the mother. And hopefully, at least one of those embryos will develop into a baby. That is how IVF works. So initially, giving FSH injections to cause more eggs to be released, collecting those eggs, mixing the eggs with sperm, and hopefully resulting in fertilization, uh, leading to embryos, injecting those embryos back into the mother, and hopefully they'll grow. Now, a couple of problems are that sometimes this might not work, and it's very expensive, and sometimes it might work too well, in that the mother will end up with a dangerous number of children inside her. Okay? So they're the two potential uh, problems. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. Uh, please like, subscribe and share. And also follow me on Twitter at Rushlift Bio. Thank you very much.